video is meant to show you how to build your Unity game and then put it onto a website like Replit. So here we are, we're in Unity. You can see I have my build window open. Here's the game that I'm building. It's a simple platformer with some jumping, some movement. The level that I want to build with is this level one. That's the one I have open. And I'm using this version, 2021.3.9. So what we want to do is go to File, Build Settings. Here you can see WebGL is already enabled for me. If you already have Windows enabled, then you'll have to switch platform to get it to be set up for WebGL. If you don't have WebGL installed, you'll need to go to Hub, Installs, Choose the version of Unity that you want this to work from. It should be the one that your game is built on. Add modules. And then you want to check the box beside WebGL. Okay. So once that gets all installed, come back here. You should be able to switch into WebGL. Before we build, we got to set some player settings. So select it. Other settings may have some error messages, so you'll want to maybe change color space to gamma, uncheck auto graphics, remove WebGL1 from this list because it's deprecated. Your publisher settings, compression format needs to be disabled. Okay, we don't want Brotly, we don't want GZIP, we want disabled. So once that is complete, we can come here to our build settings and click build. Okay, select your folder. I'm going to go ahead and build over the one that I had already built. All right, so you can see that built in about nine seconds. It's not a very big game. Come over here. Now you can see I am in Repolit. You might need to create an account in order to do this. You can see I have done this a couple of times before. So we're going to create HTML, give it a name. All right, so by default, it gives you a basic HTML file, a script, and a style sheet. We're going to go ahead and delete the index file that they gave us. If I pull up that folder here and open up the build file that I built, we can select these and dump them in to upload. <coughs> All right, so now if I select that index file, it'll load it up for me. There it is. You can see Unity made that file for us. So if I click run, it's going to try, but then it's going to hit a point where it can't load it. It says it can't load it in this little window. If you hit open in a new tab, there's our game. So there we are, we're loaded up, and we're good. Okay, so that is how you can build for WebGL and then upload your game. When you're ready to share it with people, you can email them this link. You can also post this link on another web page. You can add to the HTML on this page so that you have a link to your like playtest or feedback form, right? Or whatever you're wanting to do with it. Um, so that is how you can share your games publicly with you.